So if we do, <laughs> stay tuned. Gonna miss the cool temps up here. You don't know how nice it is that I don't have to. It's gonna be okay. As much parking spot as I can. First time ever. I think we got a natural here. That way we have a record of everywhere that we went. We're gonna try to find a full hookup spot. Found what we're looking for. It makes us dream of if yeah. we win the lottery. Now it's 73 degrees. I don't like this as well as the last. Heck with it. Let's kick our shoes off and go walk <laughs> through the sand. We're at the old downtown. We're not sure that's really worth it. We're here at Idlewild Thousand Trails and we weren't supposed to leave till tomorrow. We decided oh, let's go ahead and leave a day early here on Saturday and we'll stay at a Harvest House right there close by. So we found about a mile away, Menifee Lakes Country Club. Spend one night just to break it up a little bit. I don't know, we might go golfing, we're not sure yet. Michelle has never golfed before. So if we do, <laughs> stay tuned. We're leaving a day early, just yeah. so that we can go to a harvest host. It's gonna be warmer. Gonna miss the cool temps up here. Some of these campgrounds that have limited full hookups, yeah. everybody's always kind of cruising the campground, <laughs> waiting for somebody to Open leave. Out. He goes, nab it. You rip to go. Rip to go. <laughs> Drive right. safe. You too. Yep. Enjoy your ride with the scary views and. Enjoy your alone time. My alone time. I don't like being alone. I talk to myself too much. So are you going? Oh, it's the camera. What direction are you going? I'm going that direction. Out of here, you mean? Yeah, it's out of this side. I'm just gonna turn here. Okay. All right. I'm good. Do you need me to spot you? Nope. I'm good. Okay. It's only 41.8 miles, but an hour and 29 minutes because of the slow roads going down the mountains, all the curves. After you drive a big Class A for a while, you kind of get used to it. You know how big of a turn to take, how far you have to go out. It becomes second nature. As you can see, that's pretty close to that sign, but I just that's just it. You just get used to it. You probably couldn't see how close I was to that sign, but it was probably like that, a post sticking up. But you hear a lot of people say that they just hate this campgrounds. And it would depend on where you are at. Because we actually just love it here. Weather is beautiful, all the shade, hummingbirds, wildlife. We're in one of those other sites that didn't have good cell service for our work internet connection and we'd be pretty frustrated so I can see how some people wouldn't like it if they don't get in the right site thank you. you bet thank Safe you travels. thank you you don't know how nice it is that I don't have to worry about stopping finding a place to stop and pull over and check those dolly straps every time we take off from a campsite miss having my co-pilot with me though now they're right and then they're left not you I'm by your side I'm right here, it's gonna be okay. The world could fall down, it's gonna be okay. The sun could go out, we're gonna be okay. If all the blue skies fade to gray, we're gonna. Go. 
houses along this side here we can go here or we can go on down further I think I'm gonna start off here and we'll walk the rest of it and see that way we're not uh, driving around their busy parking lot I try not to take as much parking spot as I can because it looks like they're pretty busy here kind of scenic there for a while yeah it was nice till we got down closer to whatever town that was Hemet? I think it was before Hemet. Oh, yeah. Country Club is kind of uh, busy today. Well, it's a Saturday. This is pretty. the driving range first time ever whoa I'd say a natural hey hey that felt good that looked good I think we got a natural here straight down around the outside edge we'll just go out that way tomorrow and back out well everything went good it did it I was said well again <laughs> <laughs> nice peaceful night here we have the place to ourselves now we're gonna go inside and watch our grandkids baptism <laughs> it's gonna be live live streaming that so that'll be fun yes and then we're gonna leave here this morning and we're gonna go to wilderness lakes thousand trails just down the road just a little over a mile down the road here gonna get all hooked up and then we're gonna take off and do something That's exciting something. today so let's go come on i started to put all of our destinations in rv trip wizard that way we have a record of everywhere that we went and we kind of it shows a map of all the places we've, that we've went even when we stop somewhere for a month two months or whatever we'll just continue it on and add on to that trip and it gives us a record that we can always go back to Right on the outside edge of town, literally. You can see a housing neighborhood just off to my right here and the campgrounds right there. So the campgrounds butts right up to the edge of this housing development. Very close to town and to all the stores and everything. That'll make it nice for the next three weeks. We won't have far to go for groceries or shopping, anything like that. We could have stayed one more night and a thousand trails in Idlewild. We decided to leave a day earlier so that we could stay at a Harvest Host and show you a Harvest Host that's close to the thousand trails here at Wilderness Lakes. And two, we have a very short drive today so we can time our timing of getting here right during check-in a lot easier than we could coming down from the mountains because it's hard to say what you might uh, run into coming down the mountain. It's an hour and a half drive, give or take, but you got a lot of curves and could have anything could happen. So at least 
now we can get here right on time. Well, we're gonna try to find a full hookup spot. Some friends of ours just left here, Nancy and Barry Patrick, and uh, told us a spot to check out. I'm gonna do some speed tests while we're driving, going through here, just to kind of get an idea. Well, this guy just backed up. He wanted the other site. They have no shade in the site that they just pulled into. And we're gonna take their pull-through site here. It's got some shade. And we were getting a pretty decent uh, cell phone signal here. I got 26.4 download, 6.35 upload. That's not too bad. I think first we're gonna stop at Oceanside Pier and then head down to 101. Yeah. Sound that's... like fun? Yeah. All right. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. We're gonna go in Costco here and get some fuel. The future is bright. If you've ever been to California, you know their fuel is pretty expensive. At the light, make a U-turn at the cold lane. You and I, we got it now. We don't need no down from the Oceanside Pier. Hey, park. Really cool area right beside the water. All these tiny little homes. Makes us dream of if yeah. we win the lottery. <laughs> yeah. This would it's, be a vacation. Home. I'm sure some of those little homes that don't look like much are very oh, pricey. pricey. She sees the sweets. I'm surprised how many people. Holy cow. Look at. Oh my god. And you can see that way. And then about as many this way. You can still stay your distance. I mean, there's not too many. We are dreamers of the shore. When we left Menifee, it was 91 degrees, and that was about a couple hours ago, actually, because we stopped a few times. Yeah. Now it's 73 degrees here, and it's. They said it was an hour and eight minute drive. We kind of took our time and stopped a couple places. It was nice. Mm -hmm. Very windy though. Yeah. 
change for in case we need another um, parking meter right yeah and oh look so, there's an ice cream place where we can get change at maybe if we get ice cream they'll give us change maybe possibility let's give it a try Head towards Pacific Beach. vibe down here, wouldn't you say? Um, yes. Yep. A little different. They got some uh, cottages on the pier out here. That's kind of neat. This is so weird having little cabins right on the pier. We finally decided we are not going to go this far without coming down on the beach and sticking our toes in some sand. <laughs> it's soft. It is very soft. Again, this is Pacific Beach. I don't like this as well as the last beach area though. No, it's not very pretty and doesn't feel as safe, would you say? You said it, I didn't say it. Okay. So relaxing listening to the water of the ocean. Yeah. And we kind of got a beach day. We didn't, 
didn't really want to go lay out. We didn't bring anything no. with us to lay out on the beach. We just wanted to take a we wanted to ride. Drive, mostly. Yeah, drive, take you along, and show you some scenic views. And while we were here, I was like, heck with it. Let's kick our shoes off and go walk <laughs> through the sand. downtown Temecula area. Really, really cool little mm -hmm. strip of restaurants and shops. Uh, very, very neat. Yeah. And uh, we're trying a restaurant here. What's it called? Crush and Brew. Crush and Brew. Giving that a try. Got all kinds of gluten-free options here. But this is a really cool area. We got to come back here and, yeah. and uh, look at and more of these shops. Go into stuff. shops and stuff. Yeah. Oh, we it. like shopping. And there's an ice cream parlor right across the road here. Convenient. <laughs> well, good morning. We're all set up here at Wilderness Lakes. We did not put the slides out until uh, we put a couple out last night. When we got set up here, we decided we wanted to hurry up and leave so that we could spend our day doing other things other than setting up. So we just hooked up our, our electrical and our water and sewer and took off. Somebody left here this morning. I wanted to show you what these lagoon sites look like that people talk about here at Wilderness Lakes. You can fish in the lagoons. I don't know that I would eat the fish there. It's up to you. It'd be kind of neat to be able to sit here and fish out the back of your rig. I asked Michelle, she's good with staying right where we're at. We're just, as you can see, right across. I think we're just gonna stay put. We got good shade trees. There's shade here too, but we work so much during the week. We could fish during the evening if we wanted to, but we're not sure that's really worth it. We got our hummingbird feeder up. Notice somebody across the way here has a hummingbird feeder. Got our sun shades up. Monday morning, time to go to work. Catch you next week. Let's call it a day. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click that little bell, and hit that thumbs up. See you next week.